So let's see the five randomization techniques offered by Pratt. So go back to the example. We have indicated three audio files and we have four repetitions per stimulus. So in total, I wrote down 10 in uh, the preceding video, but I changed it because it's going to be easier to explain. So you're going to have 12 audio files, 12 stimuli, sorry, um, at the end. So for the whole test. If you use, here we said randomize, permute, balance, no doublets. If we use cyclic, cyclic, non-random, it means that it is going to take the same order as here, e a uh, and is going to repeat it as many times as needed. How many times? Four. So it's going to be e a uf, e a uf, e a uf, e a uf. Normally, this is not a good method because um, the subject is going to understand after a while that it's the same, the same order. So they are going to um, learn by heart the answers. And they're not going to pay attention to the audio. Um, so what you can do, this technique is only used for one um, case. It is when you prepare yourself um, the randomization. For example, what I have done is you can, for example, do something like that. Uh, e, etc, etc. And then you've got uh, the 12th stimuli and then something like that and then you copy the whole thing and you paste it here so instead of saying I've got three stimuli multiply them by four you give the 12 stimuli um, in the beginning why would somebody um, do that. Um, that's because when you have randomization, it means that normally um, each subject is going to, to be presented a different order of the stimuli. And sometimes we don't want that. So if you want for every single subject to have the same um, series of, um, of stimuli, you can do something like this. So you know that subject one and nine were presented to the same order of um, stimuli. So um, this is why you should be using cyclic. And of course, in that case, you have a number of applications, only one. That means take the whole list of stimuli and present them once as they are. Randomize with replacement, it means that I've got three stimuli times four, 12. So it's up to you each time um, Pratt is going to select one out of the three stimuli audio files. So first stimulus is going to select between um, E, R or U. And each time each stimulus has a 33% chance to be selected. That means that um, it is very possible we're not going to have something symmetric. So instead of having four E's, four R's, and four U's, we're going to have E, E, R, E, R, U. So uh, you're going to have something like four E's, three R's, and four U's. So in, uh, in experimentation, you do not want to have that. So in order to correct this problem, you can use permute all. Permute all, it means that um, we have three stimuli, four times 12. So I don't care about the order, I just want three E's, three R's and three U's in any order necessary, um, in any order um, possible. The problem here is that it is possible that E could be presented three times at a row, then A, 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 U, 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 and then E again. So this is not very balanced. So if you want something different, 
so it could be something like that do not forget that there is no break so this is continuous I only um, press enter to show you more clearly so this is something we could um, get from permute all so what you can do is permute balanced it means I have 3 times 4 12 that means I've got 4 four groups of 3 so in each group I want each one of the 3 stimuli any order so it could be EAU, UIA etc so you can see 4 groups and in each group you've got uh, the 3 stimuli so it could be something like like this but given that we don't have any breaks in this test you could come up with something like this e r u and then again u e r and then again r so sometimes you do not want two stimuli the same stimulus to be um repeated twice at a row so in order to avoid this you can use permute balanced no doublets it means again we're going to have four balanced group groups so four groups in which we're going to have the three audio files and then no doublets it means that prat is not is not going to repeat the same file twice so first group is done iau it remembers that the last uh, stimul stimulus of the first group was U, so it's not going to select U again. It's going to take R or E, it's going to give us the other two, and then again it's going to remember. So these are the five randomization methods or techniques or algorithms. Uh, so normally you should be using permute balance no doublets if you want to give the stimuli uh, the stimuli like here and then have a number of repetitions like 10 or 15 or whatever or you're gonna be using this one so you prepare the, the list on your own and then it's up to Pratt um, to just repeat the same order so you, you should be using one replication of my whole list and the whole list you're going to present it um, here so instead of having three you're gonna have 12 stimuli I have used both um, so it only it always depends on your on what you want to do